I'm a hungry snake. Do you have any food? <laughs> like a bug to a zapper. I won't lie, I thought the dinosaur would finish you off. But if trapping you will get you out of my way too, then who am I to complain? I tell you a very fitting joke. But you humans just never seem to get them. The closest people to me denied me what I was made to do. People who were genetically programmed to laugh at my every joke! They cited some end-of-the-world scenario where whatever's in the queen's pouch escapes if I make her laugh. But I'm not buying it! I was distraught, and I became dead set on making the ultimate jokester. But after failing time and time again, I realized something. I am the ultimate jokester! There was nobody better to be made, even if by me! With the sheriff occupied, thanks to you, reaching the queen will be a piece of cake! I will go now, because unlike you, my path to having my family back has never been clearer. Your Majesty, I have finally come to do what I was made for, and deliver my jokes! This is my best back yet! Oh, they grow up so fast! Too bad she's about to get completely crushed! Every single one of your orders! Why won't you give me that satisfaction one last time? All I want is to make you laugh. I do! And I told myself time and time again that some things are more important than laughter. But I can't wait anymore! I need to make you laugh, even if just for a little bit. I can't be put aside again. I am nothing without a ruler to entertain! I am sorry. Your Majesty, tell me, what did the train conductor say to the kangaroo? Hold on! <laughs> wow, you just come in here, steal what's ours, and then leave? You humans are all the same. Thieves with no shame. You can have the crown. I couldn't care less about that. Don't listen to that guy over there. All he cares about are his poems. I'll show you something that's actually impressive. A magic trick. Open sesame. I think I earned a round of applause for that. Oh. It's you. Don't worry. I'm unable to hurt you. I'm too weak to do anything. By not listening to me and leaving when you had the chance, you have made a great mistake. Finally, after managing to keep Josh under control, you just had to come around and anger him. Look where your arrogance got us now. I have something I want to show you. It sure looks like you need it. Agreed. We've had our fair share of altercations. Hate is one of the two emotions I am unable to control. Sorrow. How is any being able to move past constant sorrow in a world like ours? Sometimes I feel like we're all just doomed forever. We each have our plans and goals, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Nor can it undo the past or previous misery. Our lives are it. Lots of other creatures reside in this ecosystem. Could be anything. Oh, hi. You're up again. You sure are a sleepy fellow. Grab some of the vegetable snacks we collected indeed. Oh, they're all finished. Me too. Sorry about that. Man, if Shabu Josh was here, he would have loved those vegetables. Why do you hate him so much? Sure, he's got some anger issues, but overall he's pretty chill. What's the second one? Not again. Life is too short to be sad all the time, Stinger. Well, I don't know what to tell you. You know I'm not the best at this stuff. Maybe Nab Nab or the captain can help. What's that sound? Yeah, but what kind of animal makes that sound? Help me! Where have you been? I've been waiting for a while. I feel now is a good time to introduce ourselves, which we haven't done up to this point if you can believe it. I'm Uthman. I worked here before everything came crashing down, literally and figuratively. I can't imagine the stuff you've witnessed down here. My co-workers and I should have spoken up sooner. Perhaps all of this should have been prevented then. We're here. Let's get going.
Wait, get down. That must have been a trap that the sheriff set up earlier. Poor Josh. I can't imagine how confusing this has all been for him. I need to hand this imposter over to someone very close to me. You do the honors. He must have gotten very lonely, but I got him a new friend. Now, we wait. Wait, no, Nab Nab. We can't let Nab Nab take him. I tried fixing you so many times, but you're just unfixable. Enough is enough. I can control it. I know I can. I have a few things I need to do around here. You go back without me. The elevator part should be around here somewhere. I am Queen Bouncelia, the ruler of the kingdom. This is Sheriff Toadster, the protector and only other citizen of the kingdom. A worried parent can spot another worried parent from a mile away. I've heard the screams and the crash from above. You're here in search of your child. I apologize on behalf of both myself and the sheriff for the rough reception. I wanted to let you know how much I respect the things you are doing to get your child back. Putting your life on the line and fighting forces far more powerful than you like that is just admirable. As a token of my respect, please accept this blue keycard. I pray for the safety of the children you're looking for. When you do find them, can I ask for a favor? Could you try and occasionally come visit? It's been so long since we've had a visitor that isn't trying to harm us. Please do consider my request. I command you to leave and not tell any jokes. Oh no, look at what you have done. This is chaos, but you know what will happen if I laugh. What was terrible. <laughs> Listen up, criminal. That whole act of you being unconscious won't work on me. You're a prisoner now. You'll do what you're told without any questions. Understood? Now your first task is very simple. I will ask you yes or no questions, and you'll answer them using the buttons on your left and right. Someone locked up all the criminals in the swamp on the level above. Was that you? You saved a lot of time for someone that needs every minute on their hand. So thank you for that. That someone shall not be mentioned. Moving on. Have you ever come in contact with the threat shown on the board? Really? I'm surprised you're still in one piece. Third question. Adds up. Fourth question. I thought so. You must have come from the floors above. Fifth question. That one gives me the creeps. Sixth question. I could tell something about your answers were fishy. Alright, grab your belongings from the back and step out of the room. What a waste of time. You don't even work here. What on earth are you doing this deep down anyway, partner? You know what? Follow me. We can talk more inside. It's not very safe out here. Welcome to the kingdom. It's not up to me to decide what to do with your partner. We need to talk to the queen. And when we do, show respect. Your majesty, I've finished interrogating the new captive. Zero. They don't talk much. All right. You heard the lady. Let's head to the station, partner. The queen's jester has gone rogue. No matter what happens, he must not make the queen laugh. Otherwise, what's in her pouch escapes, and we all die. We're here, partner. Let's get this over with. Oh, what? What's happening? You stay in there and don't move. I'll figure out a way to get the door open. These toad stars never disappoint, partner. That, my friend, was the jester I was talking about, a.k.a. Bitter giggle. He now knows we're not in the kingdom. Let's grab the party. Get out of here. Wait. I know my enemies. We're being stalked. These vents are interconnected. They make perfect traps. I'm sure there's a way we can tell which ones are rigged. We just need to figure it out. That's two or three. Great work, partner. The naughty ones are escaping. I've managed to get the elevator to work, but only partially. It can only go down. But right now, we have to escape this entire floor to anywhere else. Everything we've worked so hard to build just ruined. If we make it down there alive, we need to find the Queen's Scepter. It's the only thing that can stop this madness. 